Hello everyone, welcome back. So if you can see this screen right here, it means that you already watch our videos on how to download VirtualBox and Kali Linux. So today we are going to go over the basic functionalities of Kali Linux so you can get yourself familiarized with all the features make sure that you like and subscribe so you don't miss out with all the latest tech videos that we are releasing all right the first thing about Kali Linux as you can see they have number one number two number three and number four on a Windows machine you have only one screen but you know with uh, or even Mac as well but here you see that you have multiple screens for example if I am doing four tasks so I can if I'm using the terminal for example I can do say this is one and then I want to do something else I can just go to two for example I go to Firefox I can open Firefox right now and then as you can see you know the Firefox is gonna be gonna stay on number two and if I go to number one I can see only uh, the information that I have for number one is the same you know for number three for example if I want to do a, a new task I can actually use number three and then for example if I was checking my file on number three I can just leave it there so you can keep everything neat you can do the same for number four etc so it is it is very cool you know what you can do in that matter and then for Kali Linux, you can just go ahead and close this out. Uh, you know, it's 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 basically uh, the same interface as as Windows. Like when it comes to date and time, you can see you know your battery right here, your date and time right here, and then yeah, you have your trash. If you delete something, it's gonna be here. And then you know, uh, with Kali Linux, they use the command line a lot. You know, they have a user interface, but you can also use the command line. To just make sure that you know you just update all your operating system uh, and then uh, this is where you can access the uh, applications so as you can see here here with Kali Linux you have a bunch of application nicely organized for example if you are into forensics so you can just come to the forensic section and learn all the tools right here so you have autopsy which is a good one and you have uh, other tools that have like uh, subtasks inside of them. Uh, you don't have to like feel intimidated with all the tools because if you open Firefox right here, uh, you should be able to see you have bookmarks of all the tools so you can learn on your own. So you don't have to be intimidated. And then uh, while Firefox is loading, we can actually uh, go right here. You have if you want to do database assessment, you have it here. Password attack, wireless attack, uh, information gathering. You can just do all this right here. You know, social engineering. If you want to get information about someone before you launch an attack, you can do all this uh, right here. As again, you know, remember that, you know, all our videos, they are for training purposes. So we are not responsible if you're using them for malicious purposes. All right. So if you open your Firefox, you're going to see uh, a bunch of bookmarks already for you, like for developers, documentation. Uh, you can just go to all the documentation, you know, to, if you want to learn about the tools, you can click on Kali tools documentation. And then uh, this will just show you a bunch of resources and documentation. The cool thing about Kali Linux is the amount of resources that you, you have like available to you. So you can just change, you know, for your Firefox, you can change, you know, if you want this to be dark or, or light. I like it to be dark so it can be on my uh, eyes. Oh, wow, you can just go ahead and explore all this on your own because they are plain English. Uh, the other thing that you may need to consider is make sure that you know your operating system is up to date when it comes to Kali Linux. So you know the list, there's something called source list in Kali Linux. 
you know the source list uh, as you know already the Kali Linux is a distribution based on on the Debian or Debian it depends on you know the country or form framework so uh, you know it has about you know 600 tools you know sometimes you know if you want if you if you want to upgrade your Kali Linux so sometimes we need to check the source list you know, in order to check the source list what you need to do you can just you can say cat etc apt sources that list and there we go so we, we see that you know uh the file is actually exists what you can actually do now you can actually you know go ahead and just update Ah, okay. <clears throat> now we see the list is exist what what we can do we can actually go ahead and just update our Kali Linux to update our Kali Linux we type sudo sudo if you don't put sudo so it's not gonna work because you know I'm going to upgrade something for example if I don't put sudo I put you know apt update so it's yeah, it could not it could not look at the file. But if I put sudo, you know, it just it seems that you know I just try to run something as admin. Sudo apt update. And they, now they're gonna ask you for a password. You're gonna type your password. You have to make sure that you know what uh, in Linux. When you type your password you don't see anything but you can keep typing all right right now uh the update is downloading so, so it may take a while but you know you can just you know uh hang on there until the update is complete so what you need to do uh while we are waiting on the download it is very important to update your kali linux from time to time what you can do if you have a Twitter account, you can follow Kali Linux on Twitter because uh, many times when there's a release or they update, they cannot just, you know, let you know. And then, you know, we can just go ahead and just add the same comment. All right. So I'm going to pause the video and be back once the, once everything is complete. Welcome back. So as you can see right here, so from the Kali uh, uh, point, uh, they say that uh, they have like 1179 packages that can be upgraded. So if you wanna see them, you can just see, uh, type the comment apt list dash dash upgradable to see them. But what we can do, you can just uh, download them sudo. We can we need to just type sudo remember that you know if you want to do anything that related to admin you have to type sudo apt full upgrade and then dash y to automatically put yes so now just trying to just you know upgrade all the packages for you so you can just uh, be up and running at no time. Once again, I'm going to pause the video and be back once all the upgrade are complete. All right, welcome back. So you may have a couple uh, pop-ups if you have in device protection, uh, stating that uh, some of the files, they are, uh, they are POPs, like potential unwanted programs. But you know, sometimes antivirus protection, they have all those pop-ups. But if you have like concerns, you can actually, you know, create, create a new user on your Windows machine and then uh, put the virtual box in the Kali Linux inside of it. All right, so right now our uh, update is complete. So what we can do, we can check the version of our uh, Kali with, the, with this comment LSB. On this call release and then space 
A. All right, so as you can see here, we have the latest release. All right, thanks for watching. I hope uh, that, you know, that was useful to you. And then uh, feel free to subscribe uh, because we are going to discuss a lot. Thank you.